We're about to get started on our afternoon chores. We're about to get started on our afternoon chores. We're about to get started on our afternoon chores. Okay, it's easier if I say it that way. But if I put chores and started at the same time, we're about to get our chores start started. Try it yourself. If you don't believe me, I'm going to, hey, here comes Jake. I'm going to do it when Jake gets here and we'll see if Jake has any better luck than I do. So you guys join me. Let's go get a bucket of feed, a couple of buckets of feed and some oatmeal. I'll come out and go ahead and get our afternoon char. <laughs> Why do I keep saying chores? Get our afternoon chores started. Well, say that. Chores, chores started. Say it three times fast, y'all. Seriously, I want you to do it right now. Chores started. No, chores started. Get our chores started. Say it three times fast. It's a, look at Carl's face. What's wrong, Carl? He's like, isn't it like time for dinner? Put down the camera and get me some food. I need food now. Hey folks, Lester here. And uh, today I'm gonna give you a little update on how our, our tinies are doing now that they've become littles. Uh, it was about a week ago that I made the video of me putting them over into the littles pasture for good. And I'm proud of myself because as hard as it was hearing them scream and holler for dad, I left them. And uh, honestly, uh, we've been all the better for it because they have adjusted very well. They've, uh, <laughs> hanging out here, they still stick close together. Let me turn my camera around. No, they're, they're doing really well. I'm about to go do my afternoon feed up and uh, they saw me come outside, I was on the porch and they wanna come over and hang out with me for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and feed up here in this middle pasture. I've been feeding here in the afternoons uh, for, a, for a purpose. Wow, Danny. Danny, look at you. Wow. Uh, that's the purpose right there. I've been feeding up over here so I can get Carl into the, into the side and the front pasture. And that way, whenever Jake comes over a little bit later, I can close this gate here so Jake can work in the back doing all of his chores without bothering uh, Carl. And so I'm going to go ahead and get my afternoon chores started now. <laughs> Because as you can see, Carl has come up and he is looking for a bite to eat. Hi, Carl. Hey, Carl. Yeah, we had a little rain come down here a few minutes ago. And it, it was a nice rain. We need some rain here. I know there's a tropical storm brewing out in the Gulf. And that's good because I'll tell you what, you've probably saw from our few most recent videos how shallow our pond's gotten. It might actually be shallower now than it has been in about a year. Uh, we can actually see a small island popping up there in the middle, which we didn't even know existed. So, I learned something. You know what? I'm not even going to tell y'all because y'all are tired of Carl videos. Y'all are tired of my Carl videos. But uh, I did learn something, and I'm going to tell you anyway. You can turn off the video if you want to. But when Carl puts his wings out like that, they do that because it gives them perfect balance and makes them able to kick. So I was semi right with the happy hands, but when his wings come out, it's not only to make themselves big, it's to balance themselves. So when he comes up off the ground on one leg, he uh, doesn't trip himself. Yeah, I learned that. Anyway, let's go get our chores started i can't say that i can't even say say it all right so i just closed that gate there so carl will be in a separate pasture away from jake now i gotta watch over here at the church this is a problem that's scary because we got kids over here and i don't know what they're doing so i have an adult and some kids over here and see, that's, that's what scares me. Look at that. Look at that. You see that? Look at that. Now, the thing is, tonight, it's Thursday here. I don't know what day you're going to see this video on. But there shouldn't be a reason for kids to get to church. They have church on... Hey, Jake. They have church on Sundays and Wednesdays. 
and I don't know why there's kids over along my fence line, especially with Carl being over there. I've been putting Carl over here. Jake, I want to give you a tongue twister. Okay. See if you can say this. All right, I want you to say fast, chores started. I want to get my chores started. I want to get my chores started? Faster, three times. I want times. to get my chores started. I want to get my chores started. I want to get my chores started. Shh, that was perfect, Jake. I don't know well, why. that was hard for you. I can't say chores started. I say char started. I don't know why. Started. Char started. Need to get my chores started. Chores started. Chores started. I, you know what? I struggle with that. I mean, yeah, in this video, I struggle with that. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, I put Carl away for you, so you don't have to worry about him. I'll take care of all those babies if you want to just do the waters in here. I know you can't hear me very well, but I want to show you something. Yes, yeah, something that I've just learned. Stay with me. I hope my phone is as waterproof as it claims, as Apple claims it to be. So all of the babies in this rain have gone inside the barn. But I want to show you what Carl's doing. Something you haven't seen him do yet. Let me get a little bit closer. I don't want him to stand. Oh, he just stood up and ran. Did y'all see that? Poor Carl. Well, so the pigs, they're, they're okay with the rain. They don't mind. But most of these babies, they don't like to get wet. So when it rains, they all come inside. Hey guys, they all come inside out of the weather. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of cute. So you can see half of their barn has been taken over by hay. I'm out of room in the other barn. So Carl, because of the little storm had blown through, he actually laid down flat on the ground. And I'm sorry I didn't get more of that on video for y'all, but when he saw me coming in the pasture, it startled him. This is the first time it has rained since we've got Carl. And so I wasn't real sure what he would do, even though I know he likes water as far as coming to the water hose. This is the first time it has actually rained in the, uh, Okay, he's lying down again. Can y'all see him over there along the fence line? I guess he feels safe there. He's found him a spot. I will take my camera and try to do a super zoom, which is gonna get real grainy and bad quality, but at least you'll be able to see. What was neat was he had taken his head and he kinda, he put his head under his wing to keep himself dry. And so that's really neat. So, you know, the place that I had gotten Carl from, they had no shelter at all in their pasture. There was no shelter for Carl or for the other ostriches that he was homed with. And so I knew that when I brought him here, there'd be a couple of different shelters for him. Uh, but I have not seen him go into any of them. You remember, he would not go inside whenever we, uh, you know, when we offered him water out of the water trough so i begin to take water to him those are from some of the early videos we since moved a large water trough out so he could get plenty of water without having to be scared to duck his head and of course now we spray with the water hose a couple of times a day but uh, this is the first time we've seen rain here in the several weeks that we since we've had them and so this is pretty unusual behavior now i have seen him lay down at night um, I haven't videoed that for you guys, but I have witnessed it. But it was neat the way he tucked his head under his wing. Oh, really? So, so here's half of the babies over on this side. And it's cute because over here, <laughs> you got the other half. I'm just looking, all right? All right. Now, you know, Dan never goes inside, ever. Dan will never go inside. You remember that winter storm that we had and poor Dan was about frozen out here because he would not go inside. And that's just, uh, that his, is his own P, PTSD from, Trump, uh, from Hurricane Harvey. You know, he was a survivor of that flood. And when we got Dan, both of his front legs, well, you remember the story of Dan, I believe. He, he was in bad shape. I'm gonna go ahead and walk on out of here. Let me come too, guys. Excuse me. I love you guys. I love you. That's yeah, going to get wet. 
All right, folks, I'm going to go put my camera away. I'll take it back out when I get to the barn and show you guys what the other animals are doing. Got to be careful in this. So Tex and Pearl have come out of the weather. <laughs> uh, Santana and Gracie are still eating. Oh, look at the little donkeys. They have a lot of shelter. They have three different places to go. So they're not there to eat. They're just there to make us feel sorry for them. So even though it's a bit scary, and I know a lot of folks feel bad for the babies in weather like this, I hope that you guys know that most ranchers and farmers do not, I'm going to say that again, they do not have shelters for their livestock. Now I say livestock, meaning things like cows and horses, we're very blessed to have the barns and all the shelters, but uh, these animals, I guess through millennia, have been conditioned to hold up in these types of weather conditions. So we're blessed to be able to offer a place for our babies to go, even though you see some of them don't go there. And this rain is welcome. We needed this rain bad. So it's sometimes scary when it comes down so hard and so fast, especially when you have thunder and lightning wind. But as far as the amount of rainfall, the inches that fall during this storm are much needed. And so we are blessed. All right, I don't really have a whole lot more to show you guys. Good news. Order has been restored. All is good in the world. This is the saddest thing, though. Look. Look. They can make you feel so sorry for them. Babies. You guys look so... I'm so sorry for you. I am. I am so very sorry for you. <laughs> Boy, what a rain. What a rain, but we needed it. So I'm sorry for what you're having to see here. It looks, it looks horrible. It looks so sad. See, and Tiana has claimed the barn for herself and left her two daughters over here to fend for themselves and 